for YouTube. This is Sambi again, and I have another video for you today. Today's PowerShell. Let's see. Hmm. We are gonna do our usual thing. Oops. What is problem here? All right. All right. All right. All right. Oops. Something wrong. Too sleepy. It's uh. Almost 12 p.m. at night. So what do we have here for you today? Today we have PowerShell uh, functions, right? PowerShell functions. So what are we going to do here? Uh, we are going to use PowerShell functions, and they are what are they? Well, PowerShell functions are. Let's say you have a code which uh, you, uh, a piece of code you, you are going to use every time. And instead of you, uh, you know, saying that every time or calling that piece of code every time or typing that piece of code every time, you create a function and you can do that whenever you want, right? So let's say we will define a function. Uh, function fun one write host. Um, hey function fun2 mm, night host how are you right so if i run fun1 now f5 it says hey if i run fun1 and fun2 well it's not gonna work as you think well so what you gotta do here is you go ahead and call both of the functions like this oops right hey how are you right so uh one function is gonna run after the other they're not gonna run simultaneously just because they're calling them all right you can't do like this so it's not gonna work out uh what if you uh what let's say you want some parameters for that right do you want to assign some parameters uh, to it. Uh, so what are we going to do here is function fun three, and we will say first name, last name, and I, I have to put it like this. Put a comma here, like this, and then I will say uh, right first you are first name last name right so when i run fun3 let's see what happens uh fun3 oops fun3 f5 that, that's it so that's because i did not provide any parameters right so first name i will say um get you last name say ambi right uh this is okay i mean this is right but if you want to do it uh properly let's say let's say function fun four and we will say uh what are we gonna say we're gonna do it like this we're gonna say param param stands for parameter here and uh hmm. and we will I know, uh, tell PowerShell that okay, these parameters what we are trying to write are like you know kind of mandatory or not, you know, and those kind of things. First, we will uh, let's uh, just do this first name, hmm? comma, last name, right? And then what this does is write host, first name last name hmm? so when i say fun or f5 what happens nothing happens because i gotta do like this see earlier if i just do uh let's say let me come here for fun three if i okay let's do for fun three and if i put minus like this i don't get anything I mean, I do get it, like you know, minus first name or something, 
but uh, I cannot uh, give advanced parameters, so I will come to that later. So hyphen first name the same way. Uh, hyphen first name, uh, go to hyphen last name, and be right. So what happens, right? However, uh, what if I just give last name here, right? And let me do another thing for you here. Uh, what if I say, um, hmm, what if I want to make sure uh, that whenever this function is run, these parameters are provided? Are um, let me give you this uh, fun. I'll say five and six, right? What, what what does it do? It just says, just prints them out. I will say, let's say, uh, first name like this. I will just say last name like this. Hmm? Now let me do this again. It is first name is five, last name is six. So it's taking integers as well. So what I want to do here, I want to limit the type of character it takes as input. I will do this f5. Well, it still does the same thing. Hmm, what's wrong with it? Well, because whatever <laughs> input that I'm providing, I'm declaring. Uh, I'm just uh, telling the PowerShell here that you consider that as string. It it doesn't mean that you know uh, it is going to ask for only you know that uh, what do you say uh, that type of um, uh, input. So what if you uh, want to make sure uh, that the parameter is always provided, as I was telling earlier? So you just go on top of that, whatever that is there. If you just say parameter. And then you put whatever you know options that you have. Right now, I'm gonna just show you this one. There are many others. So on what I will do here is I've run fun four. As you can see, since I did not provide the first name, it is asking me for the first name. So if I give a Jew, so it's just printing it out. And since last name is not mandatory, it's not printing that out ah come on get out of here so what if i want to make the second one mandatory too well i can do that mm, just copy paste right and uh, i'll say f5 i'll say uh rambo and b Right, so that that's all it is. So if at all, whenever uh, you are writing a function, uh, let's say you have a collection of functions, you have collection of functions somewhere, and you want to import all of them, right? You don't want to. Uh, you want to write a bunch of functions which are useful for you for on a daily basis. Maybe you are, you are an administrator maintaining a data center for some reason. Uh, so what you do here is you uh, I have as you see already saved it here as uh, in this place as dot temp so I'm gonna create another one uh, I will say temp 2ps one right so here let's say if I just want to import some stuff right or uh, let's say I want to import uh, uh, all the functions here let's uh, do it first let's say dollar sign ps script root and i will say temp dot ps1 let's see what happens fun one or fun four first name hmm? first name rambo last name ambi f5 here it says it does it so just put a the dot there and then give the complete path of the script uh, where you have a collection of functions or you just provide the path of the script and whatever functions which are there will get automatically imported here 
that is all I have for now uh, for you. I request you to explore more uh, learning with self struggle. Uh, I was kind of, uh, you know, uh, puts things in perspective and you will never forget them. Thank you for tuning in.